Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering the YubiKey PIV manager. This is where most of the smart card capabilities are managed and since this is the first time that we are running this we are going to need a PIN number so I'm going to go with that one two three four five six one two three four five six and I'm going to use a separate key for the management key this is when things need changing and I'm not going to bother with this PUK that's like if you forget this then you could use that it's kind of redundant for most situations so just leave that blank Hit OK yeah yeah it's going to reset everything Okay, so now, um, if I click certificates, these are the four categories, authentication, digital signature, key management, and card authentication. I don't know all of the types of uses for these, but I have messed around with code signing, which is when you make a program, you can digitally sign it. So you can have the private key for that stored in here. Um, and you can use Windows file encryption with this too although it's a little bit finicky sometimes to set it up um, but let's see because that's something if it works I can actually show you how that works so I'm going to generate a key alright so just for speed I'm going to put this on 1024 but really you should leave this on 2048 on RSA because when I've tried it before on ECC this hasn't worked and for the expiration date I'm going to put that up a little bit so we've got test demo cert pin so it's now generated the key all right so if I unplug it Plug it back in. It has detected that there is one certificate. So now there's nothing in there, nothing in there, but in this one, here's the information. So you can export the certificate, but the actual key itself, the private key, is trapped forever inside the YubiKey. It cannot ever be removed or obtained. <coughs> and you can delete a certificate using the delete. So if you go to control panel, you can get there from your start menu, go to user accounts, go to manage your file encryption certificates, hit next, hit select certificate, more choices and find the one that we want. So test demo cert is the one we want in this case. Okay. Enter the PIN number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then hit next. And if you've already encrypted things before with a different certificate, you can go through and make it change it all to the new one. But I'm going to put, I'll do that later, because there is nothing. Put in the code again. Okay, so I have now told Windows to use that certificate or that key I should say that's on the YubiKey so now I'm going to encrypt the contents hit apply and then when I go back into it you see that's the encryption that's using it test demo cert okay so now that is actually encrypted I don't know how long it takes, but eventually what happens is, you've, like I've just unplugged the YubiKey, and if I open this now, it's probably going to open, because I've only just now been dealing with it. But after a certain time, you see one of those pin number boxes come up, and you only get three tries at getting the pin number correct. And if you don't get it correct, after that third try, it blocks the entire thing and you have to go through that same reset procedure you saw 
when I first loaded this, I had to give it a pin number and a management key, and at that point, the whole thing is wiped. So even though a, a pin number is not as secure in itself than like a long password, it's still secure because you can't keep trying infinitely. You only get three tries and then the whole thing is bricked. You have to go through that reset. So that is one method that you can do. And I'm trying to think if there's any way that I can speed this up. Let me see if I, if I lock the system. Will it ask for it? No, it still opens. So I can't get it to show up, but when I went through this procedure, you saw me do it. Like if I set this right now, again, you see a screen like this, and you get a pin number. Now, if you enter it incorrectly, it was an error. Oh, look at that, an incorrect pin. I've got one try left. Now the smart card is blocked. It is entirely bricked. So now, if I go back to the PIV, Your pin has been blocked due to too many incorrect attempts. It knows there's a certificate, but I can't get into it. So, the only thing I can do is reset the device. I can change the management key, but I don't want to change the management key. That's neither here nor there. So, I've got to hit reset device, and it warns you that it's going to remove all the keys and everything. So. At that point, anything that you were encrypting or protecting or making use of those certificates is all now inaccessible because the private key that was stored on the YubiKey is lost forever now. And it's, it's treating it as if this is a brand new YubiKey that's never been used. So now it's initialized, it's ready for use, but as you can see, there's no certificates loaded. So that's a primer on using that side of the smart card.